alongside with the telescope, the microscope is one of the most basic instruments of geometric optics. The setup of the first part consists of a microscope with three objectives and two eyepieces connected by a beam splitter, two interchangeable microscope tubes with ground glass screen, one object micrometer and one standard of comparison. The setup of the second part consists of a tube with eyepiece or pinhole, precision slit as aperture diaphragm, color filters, glass scale, micrometer slide gauge, plexiglass rod with graduation on one of the faces and marking on the other, and a lamp. Measuring the total magnification of the microscope with the vertical eyepiece. The object used in this case is the object micrometer, which is clamped to the object stage. The standard of comparison is placed next to the object table so that both scales are parallel to each other. If you now look with one eye into the eyepiece and with the other eye at the reference scale, both images will coincide. In three measurements for each lens, the image size is determined. Please refocus for each measurement, do not defocus in between. Use the inclined eyepiece with a short sliding tube with ground glass. By moving the focusing screen, you can focus the real intermediate image of the objective. Please do not turn the objective wheel. Use the calipers to measure the objective image to the corresponding objective eyepiece combination. Now measure the lens magnifications by measuring the intermediate images for two different tube lengths and the two lenses above. Namely, with a short tube which is fully inserted into the inclined eyepiece holder and with the long tube which is also fully inserted in the inclined eyepiece holder. First of all, the lamp, color filter, glass scale, tube and the slit placed directly in front of the lens of the tube is used. With the slit opened as wide as possible, shift the glass scale until its scale appears sharply in the eyepiece of the tube. Then, the slit is closed until the scale division of the scale is no longer resolved. To determine the aperture of the slit, the glass scale is now removed. First, the image of the slit is brought into focus by moving it. The gap width is measured with the micrometer drive under the tube. In the following measurement, the microscope consists of the lamp, the color filter, the tube and the plexiglass rod. Focus on the polished flat front side of the plexiglass rod. Then, the eyepiece is replaced by a pinhole diaphragm, which is plugged in completely and lies in the plane of the intermediate image. Through the pinhole aperture, the scale engraved on the back of the plexiglass is observed, which allows to measure the bundle diameter of the scale. For this purpose, the number of recognizable lines is noted. From the measurements of the first part, the parameters influencing the magnification of the microscope are determined. In the second part of the experiment, the resolving power and the numerical aperture of the microscope are determined. Mm -hmm.